Hello, what's up and what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Cal Golden Bears Dynasty NCAA 06. Today, we're taking on the Ole Miss Rebels, representing the SEC. They are 0-1 this season. We are 1-7, excuse me, 1-0. We are ranked number 7. Let me get it correct. Going back to recruiting so far, things are looking fairly good. One of the top three of everybody that we're going after, Clarence Smith from Ohio. Location could be a problem. He's from Ohio. Ohio State obviously is going to go after him. He's a five-star cornerback. We're going to try to persuade him to come out west and play in Cali. Nick Cooper from VA. We're on top of his list. He's also looking at NC State. Then we got Matt Ferguson. He's from Alabama looking at Miami, Cal, Georgia, and the Ohio State University. Got another receiver. This one from Louisiana, John Holt. We're on top of his list, followed by Miami, Louisiana Tech and Texas A&M. Then we have this other cornerback from Mississippi. He's looking at LSU, Cal, Tennessee, Miami, and Ohio State. He only has five teams left on his wish list, if you will. Then we got Brett Johnson, also from, or this time from Washington, WA, not VA. He's another cornerback. Then we have this free safety from California. It's us and it's USC. And then it's everybody else, if you ask me. Before we get into the gameplay, let's check out the top 25. USC has now moved up to number one. Ohio State goes from number three to number two. Miami moves up one. Oklahoma does as well. So does LSU, Tennessee, and us. Number eight now is Penn State. Then you got Texas A&M at number nine. Oregon State's number 10, followed by Georgia, South Kakalaki, Wisconsin, NC State, Florida State, Virginia, and then number one, Texas, is now number 17 after a loss to Rice. Those Owls beat the Longhorns. Who saw that coming? After them, you got Virginia Tech, Maryland, Nebraska lost to NC State, Florida, Auburn, they lost to Boise State, and then you got Pittsburgh, Oklahoma State, who lost to Georgia, and then at number 25, you got the Michigan State Spartans, who we beat last week. Chris Valentine played pretty well, two touchdowns, two picks, but his completion percentage was very, very good. Now, can, we, can he do the same thing here versus Ole Miss? Ole Miss, that SEC style of play, style of defense, even if Ole Miss isn't one of the best SEC teams, SEC teams usually have a very athletic defense. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. That pass going downfield, caught by Hawkins. So a good pass from Josh Thomas. And now they're going to get the ball to Matt Cooley. And Cooley going to work his way upfield for a gain of just one play. Fake Matt Thomas. Dump off pass to win Bush. Their fullback meets Evans head on collision there. Third down and two. Breaking the tackle is Cooley. Going to get upfield before Pratt can bring him down. And it will be another Ole Miss first down. They're going to run the ball with Cooley. Up that gut. Got away from Kane. And he's running the ball with mean intentions. First and 10, triple option. Thomas going to pitch it with there, but we can't make a play on the football. And they do recover the fumbled pitch. There goes Cooley. He gets wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Third down, six yards to go. Dime defense out there for the Golden Bears. Going to take a shot to the end zone. Broken up by Joel James. So they got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So a beautiful drive by the Rebels, and they strike first. So 3 nothing is the score as Alfred, the redshirt senior, takes this one up to the 22-yard line. Valentine looking downfield. Chris Valentine's first pass will be broken up. And now we're looking at second down and 10. Harper with the carry, and Harper's going to go nowhere fast. Brought down in the backfield for a loss of one. Third down and 11. Gonna take a shot deep over the middle. Intercepted by Hanson on the, on the return. Breaks the tackle and he has the end Golden Bear territory. His first pick of the season. First down and 10. They're gonna run the ball with Cooley. And Cooley gonna get dropped after a gain of three. Second down and seven. We get some pressure off of the edge. Lined up in the dime defense. Send that inside corner. On the blitz and Stewart, who's also our backup strong safety, gets the sack. Taking a shot deep and that pass is caught by Hawkins. Ole Miss strikes again. 10-0 is now the score. We always seem to have to come back. Ever since we've been kind of positioning ourselves as one of the, one of the best teams in the country, we've been getting everybody's best. As Harper gets loose and Harper's going to pick up a gain of around 17 in the first down there. First down and 10, we're going to run the ball with Harper again. This time they knew it was coming. They stopped it for a loss of one. But ever since we've been consistently in the top 10, around the top 10, 
We have never had an easy victory as we find d -Jax with the long ball. Touchdown, Cal. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's get back in this ball game with a 66-yard touchdown pass. Thomas looking downfield. Thomas's pass is going to hit that grass and got some pressure in his face. Little 12 personnel out there and Cooley. Going to go nowhere, really. This is a gain of around two. So third down and eight. Thomas throws it. Caught by Clemens. First down. Move those chains. So Josh Thomas after throwing dimes. That pass caught by Norton. Brought down by Evans. Another first down. Now they go to the ground game. And there's nothing but running room for Cooley as he takes it to the Cal Bear 40 to end the first quarter of play. So the Rebels are marching in our territory. They're up by three. Thomas heaves this one deep. And that pass caught by Hill. Absolutely mossed Carter in the corner of the end zone. And the Rebels are back up by ten. Then it goes Alfred going to weave through traffic and get hit along the sideline. As he gets up to the 23-yard line, we get the ball to Harper. And Harper, he's going to get dragged down after a gain of just one. Now Valentine looking downfield. Drops it off to Chris Anderson. And our tight end making his presence felt. Third down and two. We're going to run the option. And Valentine, who is the most athletic quarterback on the active roster. We do have a red shirt athlete right now. That can make some things happen in the run game. But for right now, it's Valentine is the most athletic quarterback. That pass falls incomplete. So third, excuse me, second down and 10. Look at downfield for Alfred, and we overthrow him. There was a tight window there, but there was a little bit of an opening. So third down and 10. Valentine looking downfield, and that pass will fall incomplete. Merrick with the coverage. Cooley, no. Play fake to him. Throwing it to Hawk, who's wide open. And the big tight end rumbles for a gain of nine. Second down and one. They give it to Cooley up the gut. And that's going to be a first down. Move those chains. Thomas to the left side. Going to find a hill again. And Ole Miss is just doing whatever they feel like on offense. A running play here. A spin move there. A broken tackle as he gets chased down from behind by Pratt for his fourth tackle. But that run play takes him up to the 50. That pass in and out of their hands. Of the big fullback with a big time hit. Second down and 10. Thomas, he's going to try to tuck it and run it. And he's going to go nowhere fast. Big number 99. That's Graves, our inside backer, looking like LeVon Kirkland from back in the day. And then right here, I'm, I should have just left them alone. I can't click on. One, I don't like to. And two, sometimes I'm just not good at it. But anyways, man, Valentine looking downfield. Or Valentine, excuse me, that pass will fall incomplete. And, yo, the struggles continue. Just two completed passes. Make that three here with the wide receiver screen. And Jackson takes a big hit to the chops. Two catches, 72 yards. Third down and four. Valentine looking downfield. That's going to be all for the hands of Parks. Jackson has one reception for 66 yards. That last one was for six yards. That's too many sixes for anything to go right. You feel me? Cooley going to take it up the gut. That's going to result in a loss of three. Second down and 13. Running the ball. Getting loose. And trying to get something out of nothing. They do pick up maybe a yard or half a yard. They're going to throw it up top and our defense gets a, a three and out. That's what we need. Jackson. Spin move. Speed down the left sideline. He stepped on the gas, and he is gone. Just one move, half of a block, and let the Heisman Trophy winner from a year ago get you back in the ballgame. So we're down by 10. Thomas heaves this one deep double coverage, looking for Hill. Pratt and Carter there to make sure he doesn't make the catch. Second down, 10 yards to go. Thomas hands it off to Matt Cooley. Going to go against the grain, and Evans was waiting for him with the sure tackle there. Third down and eight after the two-yard pickup. Josh Thomas throws it up, caught by Hawkins again. Whenever they, meet, whenever they need to play, they're going to Hawkins, and he comes through yet again. So third down, turns into first down, and ten, and then we get a sack. Solera comes through with his first sack of the game. Second down and 16. We're going to send a four-man rush his way. Hawk makes the catch. Gets away from two defenders. Picks up 11. Sets up third down and five. Thomas throws it over the middle. Caught by Hawkins. And that's going to be a chain mover. From the 33 now. Thomas throws it. Caught by Hawkins. Another first down. And they're inside the red zone. 28 seconds on the clock. Josh Thomas throws it over the middle to Latimer, and that's going to be 
a first down. So they're inside the 10 now at the 5. Second down and goal. Thomas throws it up. Broken up by James. And that's a big time play right there. They're looking for Hawkins again. He's been making all kinds of plays. But James like, I got your back, coach. So third down. Thomas has it. Thomas under pressure. And Solaire gets there yet again. And that is going to bring their drive to an end. Going to send out the field goal team. The 27-yard field goal attempt is up. And it is good. 27-14 to 14 is now the score. So upset alert as number seven is losing an unranked Ole Miss by 13. So we haven't had to lead all games so far. Going to try to change that here in the second half or we're probably going to lose. Because if we don't have the lead by the final whistle, you lost, right? I think that's how it works. Harper to the left side. And Harper, he's going to pick up a gain of around two. So third down, three yards to go here. Valentine rolling out, throws it underneath to Chris Anderson. He makes another reception for a first down. Move those chains. Now we're going to hit him with a play fake, and Valentine is going down. Harris with the stop, his first sack of the season. Valentine going to roll to the left side, and it's going to be incomplete. Douglas with the coverage on Jackson. Third down and long. Going to heave this one deep to Bowling, who brings it in, and he will score. Touchdown, Golden Bears. And we cut the lead down to 27 to 20. If the PAT is up and good, we'd be down 27 to 21. Bowling got behind the defense, and yo, Valentine put that thing on a frozen rope. So it is 27 21 as Hill gets on the return and takes us up to the 23 24 yard line. First down and 10. Thomas gets hit as he throws it. Big hit on the receiver, and that pass goes straight to the grass. Second down and 10. Play fake. Thomas has it. Throws it. Broken up by Evans. And now it's going to be third down and 10. Thomas has it. Looking downfield. Throws it. Broken up by James again. His fourth batter ball. And if I didn't try to use him, that one play might have had five. Or it could have been a touchdown either way. Who knows? All I do know is that we have a chance to take the lead for the first time today. We get the ball to Harper on back-to-back -back plays. Has a first down move. Those change for the Golden Bears. Valentine goes up a wide receiver screen. Breaking the tackle is Jackson. Making the man misses Jackson. Got a block. Got sprung for a first down. Gain of around 20 on that little screen pass. Looking now. Field is Valentine. And he's going to get sacked. Loss of eight on the play from the 37-yard line. Direct snap to Thomas. Thomas turns the corner. Going to pick up around five yards there. So third down to 13. Valentine looking, throwing it over the middle, broken up. But we are in field goal range. Our kicker does have a boot, and Heron's kick is up, and it's right through the uprights. So 27-24 now to score. Under three minutes to go in the third. Cooley going to get loose, and... Cooley's going to pick up a first down, move those chains. From the 30-yard line now, going to send a blitz, not going to get there. The quick pass to Norton will be complete. Gain of five from the 35. The Rebels have it. Looking downfield, but they run out of time as Robinson off of the edge gets in there for the sack. Third down and 11. Thomas under pressure. Solaire with sack number three. And that's going to bring their drive to an end. This defense is coming through when we need him to. So for the 34-yard line, we're going to get that thing to Stephon Thomas, and he's going to pick up a gain of 11 and a chain mover. Now we give it to him the other way. There was a hole, and we tried to bounce it, and we got to just hit that hole north and south instead of trying to get east and west. That pass overthrown, and at this point, I've seen enough. 6 of 16, 180 yards, two touchdowns. But Roosevelt Matthews is now in the ball game wearing that number 12, which is retired in real life. Going to take a shot deep for bowling, and that pass is broken up by Douglas. So now in the punt return, Douglas from inside his own 20, breaks a tackle from Robinson, gets away again, and brought down at the 24-yard line. So first down and 10. Cooley gets the carry. Evans is there for the stop. That's his fourth tackle, gaining just one from Matt Cooley. Joe Thomas. Throws it. Norton with the catch. Forced out of bounds by Evans. Is it the first down? Yes, it is. Move those chains. Cooley up the gut. Evans with tackle number five. 
And now it's going to be second down and eight now from the 37-yard line. They're going to run the ball with Cooley again, brought down by Kane. His fourth stop to end the third. So the Ole Miss Rebels need four on third down and four. They're going to run the ball, and Cooley got away from Evans, brought down by Pratt. And they pick up a first down to start the fourth. They fake it to Wilson. They throw it downfield, and that pass was very, very off the mark. Second down and ten now. They got Cooley in the zone. Can go to halfback pass. They throw it straight to Graves. And the inside backer for the Golden Bears is off to the races. All the way inside the 25 before he gets forced out of bounds. So a big time mistake. And we capitalize. Looking for our first lead of the ball game. And Harper has it inside the 10 down to the 7 yard line. First and goal. Going to go with Harper again. Brought down inside the 5. Second down and goal from the 3 yard line. In around the D Jacks. And the Rebels blow it up. And we're going to lose a couple of yards. Third and goal from the five. Matthews looking. Matthews going to get sacked. And we're going to have to set up for a field goal. And we still do not have the lead. The kick is up. Kick is good. And we tie it up at 27 all. First time it's been tied since 0-0. Zero, zero. So first down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Coley to the left side. And he's going to get brought down by Soler. Six tackles, three sacks. Absolutely man amongst boys out there. There goes Billings. He's our inside back, our second string inside back of this year. Was a starter last year as a freshman, but Graves has improved tremendously. That pass caught, and now Anderson is there for the stop. So we take back over at the three and out. Jackson going to try to turn the corner. He does so, but just a minimal return there. Play fake. Matthews looking deep. Throws it. Hits his man. Jackson brings it in. Spin move. After burn is activated. Touchdown, d -Jacks. Touchdown, Golden Bears. We have the lead for the first time today. And it couldn't have come at a better opportunity than right here, right now. From the 20-yard line, Cooley going to work his way upfield. And that's going to result in a gain of four. They're going to run the ball with him again. And he's going to pick up a decent gain there. Brought down by Graves. Third down and three play fake. Thomas gets hit. They're going to rule the fumbles. That's a sack for Kane. And now it's fourth and 12. Minute 50 on the clock, and the clock's still running. Thomas throws it as he gets hit. Kane with some more pressure. And we're going to take over in field goal range inside the red zone. Now it's time to milk the clock. Ole Miss has to burn a timeout there. Gain of four for Harper. Going to give it to Harper again. He has a first down as he works it inside the five. They have one timeout left. First and goal from the four. End around the d -Jax who's in the zone. And Douglas, the cornerback, comes flying in to get the TFL. Second down to go. Give it to Thomas. And Thomas down to the five. They burn their last timeout with 59 seconds on the clock. Going to keep it on the ground. And Merrick is there yet again. So we're going to let the clock wind down. 23 seconds on the clock as we send the field goal through the uprights. We're up by 10. One second on the clock, fourth down and 11. Thomas looking. Thomas just dumps it off, hoping maybe for some laterals, but it's not going to happen, and the Golden Bears survive. 37 to 27 is the final in this one. So Roosevelt Matthews came out of the bullpen, came off of the bench, and did his thing. Does that mean that there's a quarterback controversy? For me, no. For me, I love what Chris Valentine can give us as far as the option. His speed's not great. It's like 72 overall. We have a senior on the roster, a redshirt senior, who has the highest composure. And we know that composure is important in these college games. However, Roosevelt Matthews is the best thrower of the football, throw accuracy, throw power. He's a redshirt sophomore. That means we can start developing him now, and he gives us the best chance to utilize our receivers who are deep threats, who are absolute monsters, but we have to have a quarterback that can get him the ball. There were some drops today, so it's not all on Valentine. However, 
there were some missed throws out there. And there was even an interception last week where it's like a, a better quarter that probably makes that throw. Instead, it was picked. So, hey, we're going to be going with Roosevelt Matthews for the foreseeable future. He could be that guy going forward. And hopefully this is the right decision. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best today. Too many to game, my friends. Peace, love. Hustles.